Well, new data shows bird populations are declining sharply, even in areas where scientists previously expected them to thrive. The findings from Cornell University are concerning researchers and bird watchers alike. Tim McNicholas in New York shows us how it could have widespread effects on the environment. Even now, during the peak of bird migration season, uh, happy migratory bird day. Bird Thank watchers you. gathered at New York City's Bronx Zoo say their hobby isn't what it used to be. But every time I go on a tour, usually the person who's leading it is like, wow, there used to be more birds here. That's a nice flyover. A team at Cornell University investigated that problem by turning bird watchers into citizen scientists. You see it? Birders across the country logged 36 million observations from 2007 to 2021 into a program called eBird. That helped Amanda Rodewald and the Cornell Lab of Ornithology learn where bird populations are dropping and why. Many species, most species in fact, are declining most severely where they're also most abundant. And those are the places that we typically would expect species to thrive. We care about the birds, of course. We also share the same environments as these species. Researchers say bird populations are declining across every habitat, but the worst declines are in grassland birds and shorebirds. Scientists blame drastic changes in bird migration paths from invasive species, new land use, pollution, and climate change. Because they actually breed here. Gautam Surya with the Wildlife Conservation happen. Society says humans can help by using windows with decals visible to birds to reduce deadly collisions. Birds are a very important thing that keeps ecosystems functioning the way they're supposed to. They eat insects, especially pests. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's, he's facing us. The good news is that with the help of birders, scientists say they're learning more than ever before in hopes of finding solutions. Tim McNicholas, CBS News, New York.